Just days away from the most anticipated celestial event in nearly a decade, a total solar eclipse on Monday. Special coverage of the big day. It starts at 5 a.m. Eastern and lasts all day through the event. Uh, people along the track, known as the, the path of totality, will have the best views. I mean, totality lasts just a few minutes when you consider the scope of this event, mm -hmm. but it's an all-day event. When the Earth experiences a total solar eclipse, it begins at sunrise, and it ends at sunset. Not everyone gets to see it, though, around the globe. This year, though, we have the privilege here in the United States. Look at those right? heads popping up. And one of those, we got a those lot of them, right? You. You're yes. going to be out there in Dallas, <laughs> and uh, you're going to be in Indy. I, I, yeah. Kendall, that's going to be fun for you, right? Oh, Gee, yeah, I'll Liz. be uh, with uh, Fox Weather's Robert Ray and Jonathan Hunt. Awesome. That'll be a fun bunch. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you'll be down in Dallas. The issue, though, for you, Stephen, as we've been watching, is uh, uh, for some storms. Yeah, there is. I mean, our entire Fox family coming together for this event. We've got correspondents, reporters with Fox Weather, Fox News, and Fox Business. Mm -hmm. They're going to be along this path as as we saw uh dallas is has been one i guess within recent last 24 hours or so mm -hmm. has has been in focus uh, texas in general it's all about the placement of this front if we're on the western side of the front guess what we're great look at amarillo look at midland i mean that's typically though where the weather's a little drier in, right. in texas oklahoma city but yeah in dallas We've got the forecast for many clouds. We keep in mind when we look at these forecasts, it's going to update and change. Now, on Monday, there's also that chance of severe thunderstorms right around the Red River Valleys, which is kind of close to where you're going yeah. to be. Mm -hmm. But I think those develop in the evening hours. So in other words, as this passes by, what are you, early afternoon around Dallas, right? I think the big thunderstorms, the convective clouds, will probably not have formed yet. I think you've got a better shot than what that model's thinking. But the better shot by far is far the north. I like the optimism. I'm, I'm, for you, I'm optimistic let's, with this. Let's one. be yeah. optimistic. How about Indianapolis? I mean, Kendall, it's it's Excited. you, it's Robert yeah. Ray, it's Fox News' Jonathan Hunt. Oh, yes. All going to be at it's the Indy party. Speedway, yes. and that's just a drop in the bucket. There's mm -hmm. going to be... I don't, I don't know how many the Speedway can see. So Indianapolis is expecting about 100,000 visitors oh, wow. for the eclipse. There now, the go. Speedway is massive. It can hold yeah. know, approximately 250,000. So we'll see if it's you know, completely packed or not. But yeah. it's going to be pretty great, especially in Indy and Cleveland. Those are some spots where we think that we'll have you know less cloud coverage. But there's a lot of places in the Northeast as well, which is interesting. When we, when we began talking about this several months ago. I wouldn't have guessed We it. wouldn't have guessed I wouldn't yeah. have guessed the Adirondacks. I would not have guessed New England with the storms that are out there. Great Lakes cloud cover is always an issue, right? It looks like it could be four areas by Erie, maybe into uh, Buffalo, too. But, man, you talk about Rochester and Syracuse, there it is. But this is our day that we're looking at, you guys, Monday. And, again, this is late in the afternoon to early evening hours when the storm finally arrives, picks up a little bit of strength. Mm -hmm. So I think you've got some time. Unfortunately, that outlook is right over the heart of the shadow itself. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'm still optimistic that timing is not going to phase with you. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's my thinking, too, Bob. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remain optimistic. It, it is a trend, and we even have a signal that there will be, around the 8th, 9th, 10th, some pretty heavy rain, too, for parts of the Mid-South. North, te North Texas is very much going to get involved. If the eclipse could happen on Sunday, it'd be fantastic. In fact, it. be we've got a nice preview yeah. on Sunday coming up, though, here on Fox Weather. But then the storms roll in Monday, and, and we deal with the storms Tuesday through Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday do look rainier, stormier, where the clouds will be more of an issue. But imagine getting the opportunity. When we look at the partial eclipse, it's in total a couple of hours. This stuff starts local time at, at about 1230, right. and it goes all the way until 3 o'clock. So we've got an hour and a half lead up, an hour and a half to, to see the, the sun return, the light return. It's, it's an event you don't want to miss. Will cloud, clouds block the view? It's April, after all. Yeah. You right. plan for it, but that's what makes it so dramatic.